Good morning and welcome to Story Stop with Reading Rena. I am so happy to be here with you this morning and without further ado, let's start with our hello song. Our hello song today is Sing, Sing, Sing. This is how it goes. Sing, sing, sing. I like to sing. I like to sing a song. Sing, sing, sing and stop. I always like to use the sign for stop. This is how we say stop in sign language. All right. Can we clap our hands? Clap, clap, clap. I like to clap. I like to clap my hands. Clap, clap, clap and stop. Hmm, what else could we do with our bodies? Oh, I know, I know. We could jump. Jump, jump, jump. I like to jump. I like to jump up and down. Jump, jump, jump and stop. Hmm. Oh, I know, I know. We can also wiggle. Can you wiggle? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I like to wiggle. I like to wiggle my body. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle and stop. Hmm. I think one more. Let's see. Oh, I know. I've got a good one. Blink. Can you blink your eyes? Blink, blink, blink. I like to blink. I like to blink my eyes. Blink, blink, blink and stop. Wow, that was really fun. Thank you so much for doing that with me. So today we've got some fun stories and songs all about spring as well as a story about Franklin in the dark. One thing you might need today is a scarf. Later on we're going to be using a scarf. So if you can get a scarf or have someone grab you a scarf to use later on, that would be great. Okay, we are going to start with an action song about a bunny. Put on your whiskers. So, can you put on some whiskers? Goes like this. Put on your whiskers and put on your ears. Everybody hop and give a cheer. Hip, hip, hooray. Put on your whiskers. Put on your ears. Everybody hop, for spring is here. Let's do that one one more time, ready? Put on your whiskers and put on your ears. Everybody hop and give a cheer, hip hip, hooray. Oh, put on your whiskers and put on your ears. Everybody hop. Oh, for spring is here. Yay. Good job. Good bunnies. You guys are great bunnies. Okay. So here's another bunny finger play that I have. I really like this one. Here is a bunny with ears. So funny. And here is her hole in the ground. When a noise she hears, she pricks up her ears and jumps in her hole in the ground. Okay, let's do that one again. You ready? Get your little bunnies ready. Here is a bunny with ears so funny. And here is her hole in the ground. When a noise she hears, she pricks up her ears and jumps in her hole in the ground. Yay! Good job. That was excellent. Okay. So I have our story for us today, which is Franklin in the Dark by Paulette Bourgeois. Franklin could slide down a riverbank all by himself. He could count forwards and backwards. He could even zip zippers and button buttons. But Franklin was afraid of small dark places and that was a problem because Franklin was a turtle. He was afraid of crawling into his small dark shell. And so 
Franklin the turtle dragged his shell behind him. Every night, Franklin's mother would take a flashlight and shine it into his shell. See, she would say, there's nothing to be afraid of. She always said that. She wasn't afraid of anything. But Franklin was sure that creepy things, and slippery things, and monsters lived inside his small dark shell. So, Franklin went looking for help. He walked until he met a duck. Excuse me, duck. I'm afraid of small dark places and I can't crawl inside my shell. Can you help me? Maybe, quacked the duck. You see, I'm afraid of very deep water. Sometimes when nobody is watching, I wear my water wings. Would, your, would my water wings help you? No, said Franklin. I'm not afraid of water. So Franklin walked and walked until he met a lion. Excuse me, lion. I'm afraid of small dark places and I can't crawl inside my shell. Can you help me? Maybe, roared the lion. You see, I'm afraid of great loud noises. Sometimes when nobody is looking, I wear my earmuffs. Would my earmuffs help you? No, said Franklin. I'm not afraid of great loud noises. So Franklin walked and walked and walked until he met a bird. Excuse me, bird. I'm afraid of small dark places and I can't crawl inside my shell. Can you help me? Maybe, chirped the bird. I'm afraid of flying so high that I get dizzy and fall to the ground. Sometimes when nobody is looking, I pull my parachute. Would my parachute help you? No, said Franklin. I'm not afraid of flying high and getting dizzy. So Franklin walked and walked and walked and walked until he met a polar bear. Excuse me, polar bear. I'm afraid of small dark places and I can't crawl inside my shell. Can you help me? Maybe, growled the bear. You see, I'm afraid of freezing on icy cold nights. Sometimes when nobody is looking, I wear my snowsuit to bed. Would my snowsuit help you? Mm, no, said Franklin. I'm not afraid of freezing on icy cold nights. Franklin was tired and hungry. He walked and walked and walked until he met his mother. Oh, Franklin, I was so afraid you were lost. You were afraid? I didn't know mothers were afraid, ever, said Franklin. Well, did you find some help? she asked. No, I met a duck who was afraid of deep water, mm, said his mother. Then I met a lion who was afraid of great loud noises. Mm-hmm, she said.
And then I met a bird who was afraid of falling and a polar bear who was afraid of freezing. Oh, she said, they were all afraid of something. Hmm, said Franklin. It was getting late. Franklin was very tired and very hungry. They walked and walked until they were home. Franklin's mother gave him a cold supper and a warm hug, and then she sent him off to bed. Good night, dear, she said. Well, Franklin knew what he had to do. He crawled right inside his small dark shell. He was sure he saw creepy things, slippery things, and a monster. But he said a brave, good night. And then, when nobody was looking, Franklin the turtle turned on his nightlight. The end. Mm, that's a fun story, wasn't it? All right. So sometimes in the spring, something fun happens. It sounds a little bit like this. A little bit like rain. And when rain happens, we go outside sometimes with an umbrella. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna sing a song about going under an umbrella. Come under my umbrella, umbrella, umbrella. Come under my umbrella, it's starting to rain. With thunder and lightning, it's all very frightening. Come under my umbrella, it's starting to rain. Ooh, should we do that one more time? I wonder, can we hear the rain? There's the rain. Okay, are you ready? Come under my umbrella, umbrella, umbrella. Come under my umbrella, it's starting to rain. With thunder and lightning. It's all very frightening. Come under my umbrella. It's starting to rain. Yay! Good job. That was fun. Okay. Now all of that activity and jumping around and clapping. It's made us a little tired, I think. Can you go to sleep? Hmm. You can lay down on the floor if you can see me and lay down on the floor. That would be good. Sleeping bunnies till it's nearly noon. Come let us wake them with a merry tune. They're so still. Are they ill? Wake up, little bunnies. Wake up. Hop, little bunnies, hop, hop, hop. Hop, little bunnies, hop, hop, hop. Hop, little bunnies, hop, hop, hop. All day long. Ooh, oh, I'm so tired. I wonder what animal we should do next. Oh, I know. How about frogs? Okay, ready? Let's go to sleep. Sleeping frogs till it's nearly noon. Come let us wake them with a merry tune. They're so still. Are they ill? Wake up little frogs! Wake up! Hop little frogs! Hop hop hop! Hop little frogs! Hop hop hop! Hop little frogs! Hop hop hop! All day long. Ooh, all that hopping makes us so tired. 
Hmm, what other animal could we do? I know, how about a kangaroo? Okay, ready? Let's go to sleep. Sleeping kangaroos till it's nearly noon. Come, let us wake them with a merry tune. They're so still. Are they ill? Wake up, little kangaroos! Wake up! Hop, little kangaroos, hop, hop, hop. Hop, little kangaroos, hop, hop, hop. Hop, little kangaroos, hop, hop, hop. All day long. All right, let's do some bunnies again. Ready? Okay, let's go to sleep with some bunnies. Sleeping bunnies till it's nearly noon. Come, let us wake them with a merry tune. They're so still. Are they ill? Wake up, little bunnies! Wake up! Hop, little bunnies! Hop, hop, hop! Hop, little bunnies! Hop, hop, hop! Hop, little bunnies! Hop, hop, hop! All day long! Wow, that was great! Thank you so much for doing that fun song with me! I'm so excited about spring! It is so great that it's finally here. Okay, well now it's time to sing our goodbye song. We're going to sing our choo-choo train goodbye song, and I have a surprise for you today. Oh, the goodbye train is coming, yes it is. The goodbye train is coming, yes it is. The goodbye train is coming, the goodbye train is coming. Oh, the goodbye train is coming, yes it is. Thanks so much for coming today.